I love Gucci. Do you want to drive first? Of course! Do you know why he's looking a bit bored today? Because this car is my pick. I think it should be a fun car to drive because this is a limited edition Fiat crossover Gucci. Hence my Gucci bag and my Gucci shoes. But this car isn't about speed. It's more about just getting around, being cute. And uh, for those of you who love Gucci, let's go. I think we need to officially introduce you all to our assistant. Chris. Photographer, editor, cameraman. A massive round of applause. He's also an artist now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Influencer too. It's too hot. Let's go get some drinks first. This is crazy. Yeah, baby. Oh yeah. I'll check this out. Beautiful man. It's kind of like the trip to England. Wow, it's going very slowly. It's not very responsive this car. So you kind of accelerate and then you have to wait two seconds for it to move. But who cares? It's a little Gucci car. It's really cute. Yeah, it's not very nimble. It's not very fast. It's not particularly responsive, but it's so much fun. And it's a convertible. I've always wanted a convertible. It's nice and compact. Two plus two. Like a Porsche Carrera. It's got better than dog seats at the back. Much more comfy than the Carrera. My little one, it's my one. Oh, okay. I saved your one at the back. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was shocked. She almost got crazy at me. She almost blew her top. Yeah, this is yours. Yeah, Apparently this car costs 300,000 because it's a Gucci Fiat. And Sarah's saying how for 300,000 you get not actually that many, about 30 handbags. No, no, uh, 10, 10 handbags. Not over 10 handbags. Gucci's are around 15 to 20 K each. So but 15 handbags. You can buy the Fiat for around 200,000 ish, but then you're paying an extra 100,000 on top because it's Gucci. So, you know, is it worth it? Let me work it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can work the extra 100,000. Yeah, I think it's a little bit dear because right now I'm sitting in the driver's seat and Jason's sitting in the passenger seat. And the only Gucci elements that I can see right now, the Gucci belts, right? I can't see any of the logo. I can't see anything else here. You know, I can see Fiat, but not really Gucci. So for the driver, there's not a lot of brand satisfaction whoa. right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoops, sorry. It's not a car, it's the road. Yeah. For fun, it's good. I can borrow it from my friend for a week. Uh, my bad, I take it back. Actually, these seats have Gucci embossing at the back right here. And then there's Gucci floor mats on the side of the car when you open the door. There's a Gucci, whatchamacallit? Goody. A Gucci, whatchamacallit? Yeah, I'll show you guys. It's quite a cute little drive. It's okay for you to drive it if your wife or your son is in the car. But if you're driving it by yourself, it kind of cramps your style a little bit because you're so tall. Oh, me? Yeah. I'll do it to my yourself. No, 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 it's perfect for me. It's a very girly car. Would you be okay driving this car as an everyday car? I think so. Really? You wouldn't want it for the speed, but it's quite convenient. It's, you know, the easy to park. Rarely are you going to drive a car full of people. So we always talk about having a car for five people, for seven people, seven seater SUVs. But, but her door's not closed properly next door. If I'm driving myself around, having a laugh, I think it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we just nice civilians? Nosy. Nosy. Very nosy civilians. I would definitely have this as an everyday car because it's quite practical and Damon would be happy to sit in this car because it's so cute. 
I was driving Damon around, I want a bigger car. A bigger car for the safety. Not to say this isn't safe, but accidents happen and you'd want a big car to protect your family. So in terms of driving the family around, every time I'd drive a massive car out, whether it's a saloon or an SUV. The fun factor is not quite through the roof, but thereabouts. <laughs> Sitting in this car makes me miss the days when I was in uni, like you can kind of have your girlfriends in the car, driving to the beach, having the radio on full blast and just like singing to the radio. Makes me feel like 10 years younger, 20 years younger. It really is kind of like a beginner's first car. In Hong Kong, I don't think they import many of the entry level models for different brands. I used to drive a, a Peugeot 106, that's kind of like a, a Volkswagen Up or a Toyota Yaris. Actually, Japanese cars, they have entry levels in Hong Kong, but for all the European brands, you start off with maybe the Polo or something that's not so entry level anymore. So driving this car, it, it takes me back to when I was 16 driving a really naff car, but driving it crazy. If this was my first car, I'd be like pretty chuffed. What's your favorite brand? You got me there actually. Zara. Yeah, I knew you were gonna say that! <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. Zara is so like affordable, it's got great styles, the cut's not too bad, you know, everything's pretty on point. Oh actually, uh, recently I've been picking out a lot of Massimo Duty stuff because their stuff is like Zara but even better. But a little more expensive, but not much more. To be honest, I'm not the type of person to dress in designer head to toe. I will have like one or two elements that are like that season, a particular designer, but then everything else I'll just mix and match with various brands. I could wear Gucci. All of it. The floral? The floral, those loafer slipper things with a massive man's purse. And we're not wearing boss sunglasses. I could wear Gucci. Perfect for this open lid car. Okay, it's time for Lewis Koo to say goodbye. No, can you be Lewis Koo? No, I'm Q Bo Bo. Why? I'm going to be Lewis Koo so I can sit next to you. Okay, I'll be Lewis Koo, you be Q Bo Bo. No, I'll be, um, what's his name? The Jonas Brothers' wife. Oh, she's really pretty. Taking too long. I forgot her name. <laughs> Do you know who I'm talking about? <laughs> come Sorry. Back, come back, come back, come back. <laughs> End credits at the end, you know how they have the little sections at Stop. the end. Don't go! Come back! We gotta tell you to fuel up this car only costs five hundred dollars! Why did you sound so Australian all of a sudden? Five hundred bucks only! Five hundred bucks! Bye! <laughs> Bye!